Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to resolve no internet connectivity with your VirtualBox. So I have my browser open right now. It says you're not connected. And if I take a look at the icon here in the bottom right hand corner, it's telling me that there is no internet service. So this is me logged into my virtual machine and it's showing me no internet connectivity at all. So what we'll do is we'll just shut down the virtual machine and we'll go inside our virtual box manager and take a look at the settings. I'm just gonna get out of the full screen mode. So I'm gonna shut it down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the virtual box manager and take a look at the settings. I'm going to start up my Windows desktop, open up VirtualBox Manager, and as you can see here, I have multiple VMs installed. In this example, I'm going to use the Windows 10 uh, virtual machine. So what we'll do is we'll select it and then click on the settings button on the top right hand side. And in here on the left hand side, we want to go to network. So by default, network enable network adapter is selected. So we'll just check that off and by default, not is selected. So if these two options are not working for you, the next thing to do is select in this dropdown list, bridge adapter. And we have the Intel ethernet connection here. Uh, now you might have a different one. You could have a wireless ethernet adapter, but if you don't know what adapter you have, you're gonna wanna go into your control panel and inside control panel, you can go to network and internet and then you can select on the view status. Okay, and then click on change your adapter. And in here, you'll have a list of all the network adapters that you have, and it'll give the name. So mine has the Intel Ethernet here. You might have three or four different adapters in here. If there's a red X on it, that means you're not using it. You wanna make sure that you're looking at the one that is enabled and connected and not the virtual one. You wanna make sure you're using your Ethernet or wireless adapter. So you get the name here and you can see that mine is enabled and connected and it's called Intel Ethernet Connection. So let me go back into my VirtualBox Manager and close out of this. And this is it right here in the settings, we have the name of Intel Ethernet. It's the only one I have listed here, but you might have multiple in the list. So under Advanced, we want to click on the Advanced option here. So I have the Intel Pro selected by default, which is fine. And Promiscuous Mode, if this is not enabled, select Allow All. And then you also want to make sure that you have cable connected. I have a, mine's not wireless, so that's why I have that option there and click on okay. Promiscuous mode, you want that enabled for everything. And then you can start your virtual machine and that should actually just take care of it. So you want to make sure that you have your adapter selected. You want to make sure that it's in bridge mode, not NAT. And you want to make sure that promiscuous mode is allow all. Okay, so here I am at my desktop and it looks like it recognizes the adapter. Uh, it wants to know if I want to make it discoverable and I'll just click on yes. So it's, it is discoverable on my network. This option is up to you if you want to say yes or no to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable full screen mode so you can just see everything better. And um, so you can see that I have internet access. We'll just click on the browser and I'll just go to a website for you right now. And I'll just type in yahoo.com. Okay, yahoo.com is loading up right now. Let me just open up this window bigger. So you can see that uh, the web page loaded up correctly, no issues there. And then if I go into this network status right now and click on it, you'll see that my adapter is connected and I'm up and running and I'm online. So that's how you resolve the no internet connection on VirtualBox Manager. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.